Hey guys, I got a nice little present for you today. Yesterday I discovered that YouTube posts can index and rank in Google. So that means that we can actually utilize the domain authority of the YouTube domain to rank in Google, not only with videos, but also with posts. And I'm going to show you how to do that. My name is Jesper Nissen, and I've been doing SEO since 2008. And I'm the owner and founder of Schema Writer platform to create schema and Yax platform to create cloud links. So let's get started with the topic of today. So I love investigating and finding new platforms. And I didn't think of using YouTube posts until I just discovered that they can actually index. And let me show you an example. Let's just search for this keyword. So you can see here there's a video carousel up here. And then you can see it says YouTube, yes, man, it's an SEO. YouTube, Parasite SEO with cloud links. And if I click on this guy here, you can actually see that this is the post that I just showed you. So the post has its own URL, as you can see up here, youtube.com slash post slash, and then this characteristic unique string of characters. And if we go back, dude, this is what it looks like in Google. It is a long tail keyword, I know, but it's nice because what this means is that uh, at least you can create a YouTube post. That doesn't take long. It doesn't require editing. It just requires one thing from you. It requires that you log into your YouTube account, you write some text, and then you add an image. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. That's all it requires. And then you can actually grab a position in Google. And you can see my Instagram post also ranking. And my threads post is also ranking. So let's get back to this. So this was one example. Another example I also created yesterday, AI schema generator. Let's just search for this guy here. And again, it's I know it's super specific, but it is ranking. So the thing is that this post, AI schema generator, so it's ranking number one here. So it is ranking. And I just want to make sure that yes, there are actually, you can actually add links to your Facebook, to your YouTube post. So you can see here, it says follow schema writer on Facebook. And then there's a link here. Yeah. So then it links over to this Facebook post, follow schema writer on LinkedIn. Let's see what it says here. Yeah, and then it jumps over to LinkedIn to the post I made about it. And same thing with Instagram. So. This is actually a super nice feature for us to have when we're doing Parasite SEO with these kinds of social media platforms because I like putting links into my Parasite SEO properties, pages. Not necessary to the target drill all of the time because the target drill AI schema generator is of course the homepage of Schema Writer. That's what I'm want, trying to promote with this post. But since I can, I decide what I want to link to. So I decided I want to link to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So I'm kind of like making a mesh, an interlinked mesh of all of these pages and posts that I created. And it helps indexing and it helps ranking. So in order for you to actually create such a post, you have to log into your YouTube channel and then click on this post. And on this tab here, post, you can see all the posts that you have created and shared with your community. So the posts are by default public and they will be shown to everybody that's logged into YouTube. So of course, YouTube decides they have an algorithm. They decide who to show it to. And you can see that the post that I've generated or created here, they have various topics. And what I recommend that you do is that, let me just click read more. I recommend three, four things. So the first thing I do is I recommend that you insert the keyword that you are trying to rank for, trying to get visibility for, insert that in the start of the post. Because with many of these social media properties, I see that they do rank, but they rank for extremely specific keywords. They tend to only rank for what you have in the first line, in the first sentence. So in the case of Parasite SEO with cloud links, I can see that it's ranking. But if I'm saying, yeah, so it's still ranking for Parasite SEO cloud links. I'm not sure that people are actually searching for stuff like that, but it is ranking, but it's, it, it, will, it will be very specific, a very specific ranking capability 
determined by what you write in the first sentence. So that's what you need, the first thing that you need to consider. Second thing you need to consider is, of course, write a good post. This is handwritten, it's not AI. I'm not saying that you can't use AI. I, I'm just saying that I wouldn't want to use AI posts on my own YouTube channel. That's, uh, of course, up to you. I don't judge. Quality content, of course, because it is your YouTube channel. You don't want it to be taken down because you're using AI. You want it to be quality so that people actually read it and also that the YouTube algorithm also recommends it. Third thing is try to, when you can and when it's suitable, insert links because although that this is an, a redirect, you can see here I'm hovering my mouse and then I'm seeing the lower left corner, I can see it says youtube.com slash redirect and so on and so forth. So this is a redirect link. I'm not inserting the link for the link power per se. I'm inserting the link for obtaining traffic to my Yax website. That's why I'm inserting this link here. And then use hashtags. If you don't know what these hashtags are, let me just click on this guy here. The hashtag in YouTube and many other social media also are actually used to create a standalone page, a collection page of all the posts and pages that have used this hashtag. So in the case of the hashtag Yespenis SEO, you can see that these are all the videos that I have posted. Let's see if, I don't know if anybody else used this hashtag. Well, anyway, you can try to actually see if you can embed this page. Let's actually just try iframe generator. Let's see if we can generate. Normally when I click preview, it opens a tab. So I don't know if it's because of the preview, ah, it's down here. So yeah, it actually doesn't work to embed the, the hashtag page. That doesn't work, but this is what the hashtag is used for in YouTube. So it's good to use the same hashtag in all of your videos that ref that refers to your channel. So I'm using yes, but isn't is your hashtag in all of my videos because it binds all of the videos together and it makes it easier for YouTube to understand that this video is connected to the next video, is connected to the next video, and so on and so forth. So that's the hashtags. So keyword first quality content, outgoing link, wherever it's needed, and then these hashtags. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next one.